I think what was so attractive about the interaction with him as a teacher or as a mentor was not so much that the goal was, I'm going to get the book out of you and you're going to publish it. It was more his belief in your potential to do anything and have it be absolutely terrific and fabulous. He believed in you more than you believed in yourself by a long shot. And that is what was so inspiring and motivating. And he would take all the time in the world. He would take as long as it took to help you with every little nuance. He always loved to be around students. He loved to, to work with them. He loved being a part of, of, you know, testing and challenging their ideas about, you know, everything in the world. And to a great extent, I think he learned in the process. He kept alive in him the need to challenge and to test and to question um, so that he didn't simply sort of fossilize into his views and opinions. Uh, and then as a writer, that was extremely valuable to him. Just everything that goes with vivid, think about, figure it out, get it vivid. Continuous, don't distract the reader with a grammatical error or shifting to the wrong character at the wrong time. It's gotta, you've got to go over it a thousand times, a thousand times. Take six months on a short story of 20 pages until it's right, it's brilliant and perfect and nothing is in the wrong place. You're vivid and continuous and concerned. It's the third thing. You know, you've just got to be concerned about the characters so you don't cheat on them and bully them and, and get something wrong. And then fulfilled is the fourth thing. And when that's done, you got everybody beat. You know, you're just the best writer in town.